Hey guys, welcome to the 61st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the path class. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a few lines of code. So once you have the button on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. You're going to need to have an open file dialog and an if statement checking to see if the user actually opened the file in the open file dialog. You're going to need to be using the system.io namespace because the path class is located in there. Um, so the first step in using the path class is just simply typing out path. Then just use the dot operator to access all the methods. The first method that we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is the get directory name. And the get directory name will basically just return the path to the folder that the file is in. And we want to do that for the file that is open in the open file dialog. So we're just going to do OFD for the name of our open file dialog, and then do dot file name. And then we want to use a message box to display um, the path to the folder that the file is in so that we can see it. So now we're just going to debug here um, and navigate to a file. I'm just going to use this text document. And since this text document is inside of this test folder right here, we should get the path to this test folder inside of our message box. Yep. The next method that I'm going to be showing you is the git extension name. And the git extension will basically just return the extension of the file that we open. So we debug here and open a file. We should get .txt in a message box because that is the extension of this file. Yep. Next method I'm going to be showing you is the git file name, and the git file name will basically return the safe file name of the file, or just this. It'll just return text document three dot text, not the path to the file. Yep, text document three dot text. The next method that I'm going to show you is how to get the file name without the extension. So we'll just get text document three in the message box. This dot text will not be included. Yep, we just have text document three without the extension. Another method that I'm going to be showing you is the get full path. And I think this is uh, pretty much a useless method because you could have just used the path that you return or that you pass through here, but I don't know. So yeah, but we could do the same thing just by showing the open file dialog name. So I'm not too sure what that method's for, but I don't know. I guess it works for some people. And the last method that I'm going to be showing you in the path class is the uh, has extension method. And this method will basically return a Google value to see if the file actually has an extension or not. And we want to check for whatever file that we open in the open file dialog. And again, since it's returns a bool, we're going to have to um, use the dot two string operator so that we can display the result in a message box. And since this file does have an extension, we should get true. Yep. And obviously, if you were to open a file that did not have an extension, you would get false. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the path uh, class. I know I didn't really explain a whole lot of things, but everything seems pretty self-explanatory. And the main purpose of this tutorial was just to show you that this path class actually exists. And it can save you a lot of trouble of having to go through and create your own methods to uh, just get the safe file name or get the extension or something like that. So see you guys.